know, I used to do lots of magnet fishing when I was a kid. I never ever thought I'd find anything, or any one. But that's how this new book that I'm reading starts. Pretty gruesome. The book in question is Oxford Blues by Andy Griffey. And I have to say that this book really surprised me. It is the third in a three book uh, series at the moment um, with the same characters. A character called Jack Johnson is our male protagonist and um, he um, has an erstwhile companion called Nina Wilde. Jack actually lives on a canal boat and all of his adventures and detective stories are all set in and around the canal. Uh, totally fictional, but I have to say that there are elements of this book that really do feel real and very gruesome and you're kind of drawn right in and um, there were moments when uh, I was hesitating to turn the page to find out what was going to happen next uh, so I had to remind myself that it is actually a fiction. Uh, but it, this one, Oxford Blues, is set in and around the town of Oxford. In fact, um, if you read this book, uh, you could probably trace the character's story all the way past the Oxford boathouses along the Thames, into the town, to the head of the river pub, and various other locations all around uh, Oxford and the River Thames. It's a fantastic book. I identified very much with the male protagonist Jack Johnson in this book. He's roughly my age, about uh, 46, 47. He has uh, in this book, uh, without giving too much away, a unrequited love who, strangely enough, uh, I've also had an unrequited love who's also, her name was Nina. Although I have to say that uh, there is another character that pops up in this book called Will, who I identify with slightly more because uh, he's an actor. Anyway, without giving too much away, uh, a young girl's body is uh, dragged up uh, from Ifley Lock by some magnet fishermen. And that's where our story begins. Both Jack and Nina are kind of drawn into that story and uh, obviously they have to follow it through all the way to the end. I have to say, I really enjoyed this book. It's very rare that I will want to start the next chapter having just finished one. Uh, I don't really read for pleasure maybe as much as I should. I tend to read just factual books. Uh, but this one um, was absolutely fantastic and I can't recommend it enough. Not only to people who maybe live and work around Oxford or who have uh, a narrowboat or who live on boats, uh, I'd recommend it to anyone. Even if you haven't been to Oxford, this is a great book. And that's all I have to say. It's uh, published by Orphans Publishing and uh, if you uh, look up Orphans Publishing or just the title of the book or the name of the author you'd probably be able to find it online. Uh, yeah, go and check it out and also check out the other two books written by Andy Griffey. Um, they are also um, based in and around the canal. One in Birmingham and one on the K&A in Buff. Well, it's uh, 7.30 on a Tuesday and now suddenly the river is very, very busy. Busiest I've ever seen it, in fact. 